study of the helicopter footage is that this helicopter was never told where the perpetrator lived. A belated response, a sloppy investigation and most likely a lack of willingness. That's what a research group Forensic Architecture has to say about the police handling of a far-right terror attack in Germany two years ago. The evidence shows that the police operation to pursue the perpetrator, to surround his house and potentially to apprehend him was a complete failure. And that failure put the surrounding residents at grave danger from a man who we know was violent, armed and uh, willing to uh, commit violence, further violence against the people that lived around him. On February 19, 2020, an attacker killed nine people with migrant routes in Hanau City before shooting himself. Ever since, more details of a series of police failures have come to light. Authorities are not only under fire for not answering emergency calls during the incident, but they've also been criticized for waiting nearly five hours before storming the killer's home. A police helicopter should have monitored the area per procedure, but researchers found it was never informed of the suspect's address. Police never thoroughly interrogated the perpetrator's father, who shares his far-right worldview. Further evidence also reveals at least five people could have survived if an emergency door hadn't been locked. You see that some witnesses go to the emergency door but walk back. You can see my son is watching them. And I wonder why the video evidence has not been analysed, why the witnesses have not been explicitly asked about why they walked back from that door. At least 13 officers on duty that night were active in far-right chat groups. And more than 300 right-wing extremists were working in security services as of last year, according to a new government report. Survivors say they won't be satisfied until those who failed to act during the 2020 attack are held accountable. Sibel Karkusch, TRT World, Frankfurt.